Hello guys, welcome back home and welcome back to another episode of how to score above 300 in jump and if this is your first time of watching my videos, I am Rafael, I am currently a pharmacy student at the University of Nigeria in Soka. In this video, I'm going to be discussing with you guys the surprising reason why most of you are going to score lower than your expectations. In fact, why 99% of you are going to score lower than your expectations. It doesn't matter how long or how deep you study. If you don't know about this, trust me, you might score lower than your expectation because I know some of you are planning to score higher than 300 while others are planning to score higher than 200. I don't know what your dreams are or what your goals are in this examination, but you must know this so that you can score higher than your expectation. The number one reason why most of you are going to score lower than your expectations is negligence. And what do I mean by negligence? I will also explain this as not giving equal attention to your four core subjects. I know most of you will have a favorite in the four subjects you are going to be writing in this exam. As for me back then, it was biology because I preferred biology to reading physics. But I discovered something. I discovered that all these subjects have a warm max. That means none is better than the other. So instead of me to give all my attention or preference to biology while neglecting other subjects, I had to divide my attention and give it equally to all the four core subjects. I know this could be difficult for you guys because you think that you don't need to read English and because you love more of biology. Or maybe you think that you read you love more of English than physics or chemistry or more than literature so you now give most of your attention to English trust me this will affect your preparation and also affect your results if you give more preference to the topic or the subject you love most mostly you will score higher in that subject while other subjects are going to underperform that means they are going to score very low in those subjects and those subjects could be what is going to draw you down i know some of you love um let me say biology and maybe you think your mind english i don't really need to read english because who doesn't know english you will say in your mind but trust me english is not that simple that is why you rarely see students scoring about 99 in English. In fact, I've not, I don't think I've seen someone scoring 99 in English, but I've seen people score 99 in other subjects. Why is this and why does this happen? This is mainly because most students feel like they school about studying English. They feel that English shouldn't be studied, that is a normal thing, that the answers will come intuitively. So you don't need to read it. You only study your novel, forgetting that English has 100 marks apportioned to it. So does the other three core subjects you will be writing. So what am I saying in essence? What I'm saying is that you should not because you hate a subject give less attention to it. Because trust me, all the subjects have 100 marks apportioned to them as I said earlier. So try your best to give equal attention both to the ones you love most and the one you hate and the one you think you've known all because don't go with the assumption that you've known all about a particular subject because trust me when you get to the exam hall it will be a different story altogether it doesn't really work that way don't assume that you know all about a particular subject try to give equal time to all the subjects imagine maybe you um preferred a subject to the other so you factor it more in your timetable and you neglect others maybe you neglect english you don't like physics so you don't read it so in the exam hall imagine that you are aspiring to score higher than 300 in jam and in the exam you score maybe 99 in chemistry because you love it and you gave your time to it and you studied then you scored something like 80 in biology because you love biology and it is easier for you to study but for physics you don't like it and maybe you enter the exam hall and you score 40 that's very poor then in english because you only studied your novel you now score about maybe 40 in your english so calculate the four results you are now scoring about 259 which is lower than your expectations so what am i saying in conclusion 
What I'm saying is this, guys, try to give equal attention to all your subjects. Because what you sow is what you're going to reap. Because you love physics doesn't mean you should not study English. Or doesn't mean that you should give more attention to physics. In fact, I would even prefer or advise that you give more attention to those topics you hate most or those subjects you hate most because they are going to be the number one factor that are going to paralyze all your efforts in this exam and number two in my summary is that don't assume that you know all about a particular subject don't claim i too know in any particular topic or subject because those things could be your archive heels they could cripple your effort and don't assume that you know all about the use of english don't only read your novels also study your textbooks if you don't have any good textbook for the use of english i will refer you to this video because after discussing stuff in that video i also gave a free textbook i will use my former jam results to further illustrate this look at the results can you see that i was crippled by english because my aspirations and my goals that year was to score higher than 330 and i was aspiring to be among the best jam students that year the only thank you i need from you right now is to hit the subscribe button please like the video and help and share to your friends and if you're having any difficulties in this preparation in this exam preparation just type it under the comment section because i'll promise to respond and help you because trust me i am willing to help you guys score high in this exam